At the right time and the right place, January 15th, Falcon Heavy launch was already one of SpaceX's most spectacular yet, and it shocked NASA astronauts and scientists. Why can it do that? How did Elon Musk react to the launch? Let's find out everything in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Photographers on the ground captured great shots of the latest launch of SpaceX's most powerful rocket. One off-Earth observer did as well, the International Space Station, which happened to be in the right place at the right time on that day. An external high-definition camera on the ISS captured the launch plume of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket after it ascended to Earth orbit following its liftoff on Sunday, January 15, 2023, from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, NASA officials wrote in a description of the photo. The space station was flying 262 miles or 422 kilometers above the Atlantic Ocean just after an orbital sunset at the time of the photograph, they added. It's not the first time a rocket launch has produced a show for the astronauts, or at least the cameras, who live aboard the ISS. But it is the first time the rare launch of a Falcon Heavy rocket was spotted from orbit. Similar in concept to the contrails produced by an aircraft at high altitude, Falcon Heavy produced a giant exhaust plume as it climbed out of Earth's atmosphere, and that exhaust containing a small amount of water vapor created artificial clouds. These contrails are especially noticeable at the limits of Earth's atmosphere, around 50 miles or 80 kilometers up, where they can catch sunlight hours before or after the sun sets or rises at the surface. Falcon Heavy's artificial noctilicent clouds lasted for several minutes, allowing cameras on the NASA side of the space station to take photos of the clouds as it flew over the Atlantic Ocean far downrange. Physically, Falcon Heavy was catching up to the ISS, as it flew east and both were traveling with Earth's rotation, slightly extending that rare window of opportunity. Had Falcon Heavy launched just a few minutes later, the ISS would have likely been out of view. The station's photos of the launch were taken about seven minutes after Falcon Heavy lifted off, shortly before the upper stage reached low Earth orbit and the rocket's twin side boosters touched down back in Florida. By then, the rocket's sacrificial center booster was free-falling toward the ocean and likely moments away from being destroyed by atmospheric re-entry. Falcon Heavy's upper stage would operate for another six or so hours in orbit before deploying two U.S. military spacecraft carrying several satellites and payloads into geosynchronous orbit, or GSO, around 35,250 kilometers, which is about 21,900 miles, and some 21,650 miles higher than the ISS orbit. The extremely challenging mission was ultimately a complete success and was SpaceX's second such Falcon Heavy launch for the U.S. military in less than three months. More interestingly, astronomers find a spiral from the launch of the Falcon Heavy. On January 18th, a camera on Mount Mauna Kea near the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Hawaii recorded an amazing spiral in the sky. The video shows how the white ball expands and forms a spiral. It moves across the sky and then finally fades and disappears. Mauna Kea Volcano on the main island of Hawaii Archipelago is famous for some of the best conditions in the world for observing the starry sky. There's a very transparent atmosphere and very little precipitation. Therefore, different states have set up their observatories here. However, the mountain is sacred to the locals, which is why they regularly have clashed with astronomers. In order to diffuse the situation a little, Japanese scientists installed a camera next to the Subaru telescope, which simply takes pictures of the starry sky. The broadcast from it takes place jointly with the newspaper Asahi Shimbun. This gathers a lot of enthusiasts to admire the starry sky. When a spiral appeared during the broadcast, which took place on January 18th, the employees at first simply didn't pay attention to it and then remembered that in April 2022, they had already seen a similar phenomenon and there is a quite earthly, simple explanation for it. Chi Tanaka, a researcher at Subaru Telescope, said he was doing other work that night and didn't immediately see it. Then a stargazer watching the camera's live stream on YouTube sent him a screenshot of the spiral using an online messaging platform. When I opened Slack, that is what I saw and it was a jaw-dropping event for me, Tanaka said. The reason for the appearance of such a spiral is the launch of the Falcon Heavy Super Heavy rocket on the morning of January 18th, it just launched from the spaceport in Florida and launched a military satellite into space. The position occupied by the spiral in the sky clearly corresponds to the point where the trace of the carrier overcoming the Earth's atmosphere should remain. 
The Falcon Heavy debuted to much fanfare in 2018 when SpaceX CEO Elon Musk attached his personal Tesla Roadster as a test payload on the launch. The car is still in space, taking an oblong path around the sun that swings out as far as Mars orbital pitch. As of February 1st, the Roadster is over 204,239,187 miles from Earth, moving away from the planet at the speed of 4,517 miles per hour, according to tracking data by whereisroadster.com. The rocket followed up that test mission with two launches in 2019 before taking a three-year hiatus. The vast majority of SpaceX missions don't require the Falcon Heavy's amped-up power. On the other hand, SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket launched more than 60 times in 2022 alone, sending two groups of astronauts to space, as well as Starlink satellites and a variety of other spacecraft. But SpaceX is now making good on a lucrative military launch contract it signed for Falcon Heavy years ago. The rocket returned to flight in November with the launch of the U.S. military's USSF-44 mission and USSF-67. With each launch, the Falcon Heavy rocket puts on a dramatic show on Earth. The 67 largely mirrored SpaceX's November 1, 2022-44 Falcon Heavy launch and even used the same side boosters. Flying for the second time in 75 days, B-1064 and B-1065 aced their roles in the mission and separated from Falcon Heavy's expendable center booster around three minutes after liftoff. The side boosters immediately flipped around with thrusters powered by compressed nitrogen gas and ignited three of their nine Merlin 1D engines to boost back to the Florida coast. After coasting back to Florida, they completed brief re-entry burns to lessen atmospheric heating and fired up one last time to gently touch down at SpaceX's LZ-1 and LZ-2 landing pads. The landing moment is completely awesome. Musk even likened that that's how we'll land on Mars. Because Falcon Heavy lifted off after sunset, local skies were dark and the rocket quickly climbed back into daylight, creating spectacular contrast between twilight and the bright rocket exhaust. When Falcon Heavy's side boosters flipped around and reignited, their high-velocity exhaust plume slammed into the center core's opposing plume, producing spectacular interaction and a nebula-like cloud that caught even more of the daylight. Had Falcon Heavy lifted off just a handful of minutes later, a darker sky could have made for an even more incredible nebula or jellyfish, but the rocket's first twilight launch was still spectacular. And for this, Elon Musk shared this amazing picture and said, Falcon Heavy ascends. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comment section down below. Your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.